Hello, hello, hello. Most of you are not going to give a fuck about this video, and that's totally fine. Um, so anyway, I got a new amplifier. And the amplifier is a Fender Bass Breaker. It's an all-tube amplifier head with a matching cabinet. The cablet has, cablet, excuse me. The cabinet has one 12-inch, I believe it's a Celestian speaker in it. Uh, the head is rated at 7 watts. And so it's loud for your sort of bedroom, you know, kind of deal. But it's a really great sound head. I mean, I, I can't complain about it. So what I want to do is just like kind of do this AB kind of hack job. Um, comparing the bass breaker with my current amplifier, which is a Line 6 Spider 5. It's the 60 watt version. And it also, I believe, has a single 12-inch speaker in it. And, of course, it's got all the Line 6, you know, amp models and all, all, all kinds of stuff. You know, really, if you're into, like, deep editing, this is the amp for you kind of deal. I like my guitar to be really, really simple sounding. I'm not into crazy, like, you know, I've got four different you know, pedals going at once, and my guitar is ping-ponging off. I, I'm not into it, you know. To me, there are three guitar sounds. Clean, crunchy, and dirty. And everything else, I'm like, it, it's superfluous at best. I don't care about it. So, anyway. But to me, kind of the, the ideal guitar sound is from a guy named Paul Kossoff. And he was in a band called Free. And if you don't know Free, you most certainly know their most popular song, which is All Right Now. And that's the one that just starts out... <laughs> If you listen to FM radio at any point in the last 40 fucking years, you've heard that guitar riff. And it's kind of dirty, but it's not excessively dirty. It's not like Metallica, you know, dirty. But to me, that's what a guitar should sound like, I think. So anyway, what, what you just heard was through the, the Line 6, the Spider 5, the, the non-tube amp. Um, it is a digital amp. I think this is this is a nice kind of representation of that kind of sound, you know, when you get to the solo part. It's dirty, it'll sing for you, but it's not outrageously dirty. It's not like, you know, slipknot little kind of sound. So anyway, I'm going to do the same shit, but I'm going to plug into the brace breaker now. Again, this is a 7 watt all tube amp. And I think it's voiced, even though it's a Fender amp, it's voiced more like a Marshall. Um, so let's see if we're kind of getting close to that that kind of thing with this thing.
I'm, I'm okay. Look, I'm fucking sorry. Okay, like the, the bass breaker <laughs> wins. It just it sounds. Jesus Christ! It's just it's really. The thing about a great guitar sound to me is that it barks. It's like a little dog. Okay, it's like a seven to like fourteen pound dog that can you know if you want it to. <laughs> Or can lose its shit. You know how fucking little dogs do. I got two of them. I fucking know. So anyway. There is no such thing as pure clean and pure dirt with a tube amp. I don't think. Now you can buy amps with separate channels. And you can set them up to be pristine clean. And then just absolutely pant shit dirty. If you want to do that. <sighs> I, I just think the spirit of a tube amp is that, you know, clean versus dirty. At the end of the day, it's about the, the intensity of, of the sound you're trying to get, right? You know, so with this amp, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll my volume knob down. This is just a fucking Epiphone SG. I mean, Christ, it, it's not special. But, you know, I'm going to roll my neck pickup volume all the way up and my bridge pickup. Just, just kind of a little bit, you know. Just, just the things on, but I can go, you know. I fucked up. Jesus, pussy. Um, I'm playing like dog shit, but it is what it is. Anyway, that was a clean sound. But without even fucking touching the amp, I go to the neck pickup with the volume all the way up, and I get... And there's so much fucking balls in that sound. And I didn't do dick. I didn't touch a fucking amp. I rolled the volume knob down on one pickup, rolled the volume knob all the way up on another pickup, and I went from a nice kind of clean sound to a really throaty, ballsy, but still clear sound. That's the fucking amazing thing, is that a really great amp, it gives you sustain and it gives you balls without sacrificing clarity. And that's a very clear sound, you know. sound to like mule shit but anyway the point is i was getting some sustain and some really nice the guitar is singing for me it's not shouting at me indiscriminately it's just it's fucking singing for me and that's to me what an electric guitar is supposed to do it'll sing for me it's just a big open chested singing kind of sound but it's not excessively dirty now, you can't use this sound to play, you know, battery. You can't use this sound to play fucking, you know, Before I Forget or uh, Roots Bloody Roots, you know. That, that, that's just, that's a conversation for another time, okay? That kind of really high gain shit, it's cool. But this is not the end for that. It's, just, it's not, okay? So just don't. Don't think of this amp as something that can kind of do that, you know. Now, there's a shit ton of pedals out there that you can get that can kind of make this amp mimic those kind of sounds, but it, this amp really wasn't meant for that kind of thing. 
and there, there's so many great amps that that can handle that kind of stuff you know um you know angle amps um mesas marshals pvs there's a, a shit ton of really really solid uh amp manufacturers out there that are just turning out every day really really good thick saturated metal tones i mean just this amp isn't that so don't go into playing this amp thinking you're going to get that it wasn't designed to do that now if you're into really good clean sounds if you're into nice just kind of stout overdrive kind of sounds just acdc kind of rhythm sound and shit and if you want a good lead sound where your notes that aren't going to be overly distorted or any of that shit but the some bitch will sing for you that's what you need this is what you fucking need it's uh it's a great amp you know what else I'm not running any fucking pedals. I've got the treble boost engaged, which is fantastic. And by the way, the treble boost on this amp is not so much an actual boost in the high frequencies. It just gives you a little bit of extra dirt and a little bit of extra fucking attitude. And so you absolutely, if you don't get one of these amps, you got to get one of those little circular one button fender foot switches which you can find anywhere for next to nothing, you got to get one of them. I was thinking about, well, maybe I should buy an overdrive pedal. I want I want something to get the amp up, and it's really full-throated and rich, and I want something that's going to give it that little bit of extra sustain and harmonics so I can play lead with it. And then I hit the fucking treble switch, and I'm like, oh, it's already built into the amp. Never mind. Now I just need one of them little fucking foot switches. So the only thing that I would say this amp needs is just just a touch of reverb or just a touch of delay, just to kind of give it some atmosphere, you know. Uh, if you want to get some shit like a Wawa or a fucking phaser, I mean, if you're into that, cool. I think this amp will handle it absolutely with with perfect clarity and it will you know do that thing you know whatever whatever sound you want out of the pedal i think this amp will uh, faithfully give you that sound if, if it's a swooshy sound from like a flanger or just a that kind of shit you know i think wawa would give you that sound through this amp but honest to christ i really don't see uh, a reason to have anything other than like a reverb or a delay pedal just to give it just a little bit kind of atmosphere, you know. Um, it's a it's a great amp. It's a it's a great fucking amp. So uh, I I don't know a whole lot to say else. Um, but yeah, it's a Fender bass breaker. It's the head and cabinet. It's seven watts. Uh, you can turn it up and really get it working at a totally reasonable volume. Um, is it loud enough to play on stage? I would say so. Is it loud enough to play on stage with a drummer? I'm skeptical. I've not tried it, but I'm skeptical. Um, if you want a really good, honest to God, tube amp to play at home to practice and get all those sounds that you want out of a tube amp this is it this is fucking it um, if you're out gigging Fender makes a 15 watt they make um, oh Christ uh, they make progressively more powerful louder amps in the bass breaker uh, range and so if you're going to play out with a drummer, you may look into one of the higher powered amps. But I'll tell you what, if you're just like into like home recording or you're just into turning your shit up and just playing a little music just, just for shits and giggles, you ain't going to go wrong with this. 
You know what's fucked up? I didn't realize nobody ever actually got to see the amp, so we're gonna roll over here right quick. How do I get this goddamn stupid selfie bullshit? Jesus Christ. Hello. Fucking... Hello. What's this weird-ass white dot? God damn it. <sighs> All right, here goes nothing. So anyway, hopefully you can goddamn see the head. Um, so there's the fender base breaker head. There's the 1x12 cab. Very handsome looking amp. Let's see if I can get the controls. The controls are real goddamn simple. Gain, bass, middle, treble, master, power switch. Doesn't have a standby option. The treble boost is engaged. You can engage this via foot switch, which I encourage. So this is how I have it set up. I've got the gain. Yeah, actually not really all that high. The master's not all that high. I did roll the bass all the way off. Because with this guitar in this room, you don't need a lot of bass. Um, I love mid-range. you got to have mid-range. Um, it's a humbucker-equipped guitar, so I tend to you know, be a little bit liberal on the treble uh, side of things. But uh, I think it sounds great ju just the way it is. So, um, so that's kind of the... I may have fucked that all up. I don't know. You might have just watched a you know, fucking video of my nuts for all I know. But yeah, Fender Bass Breaker. It just it, it's fucking great. I just I love this amp. I absolutely adore this amp. So let me turn the goddamn phone up now cuz that evidently makes a difference. Jesus Christ. I hate these fucking things. I really do. Anyway, Fender Bass Breaker 7 watt um, in the head version. Uh, I have no pedals. I have no nonsense, no silliness. I have a Fender Bass Breaker 7 watt head into a 1x12 cabinet, and I'm running a guitar cord from the head into this Epiphone SG, which has not been tricked out or, or any of that bullshit. I, these aren't super deluxe fancy aftermarket pickups. They're just what the fuck came in the guitar. I think it sounds pretty good. Um, it's a plug and play amp. Hard to beat. Um, give it a looky-loo. Bye.